Welcome to the channel, friends. So today I'm going to be covering the Honeywell Home T6 thermostat, smart thermostat, and in particular, I'm going to be covering just the ISU settings as well as the alerts and reminders, what those numbers mean. I'll get a lot of questions about this. And here is a T6. And if you ever see a triangle here above the the temperature set point with an exclamation point in the, in the center of it, that means it is an alert or a reminder. So that's what that icon is indicating and you will have to look in your manual or I can show you right now in this video what those mean. So one thing you're gonna to wanna to also know is how to get into the advanced setup menu or device setup and that is by holding down the menu button. And that is going to bring up a hidden screen, the advanced menu, and um, it allows you to change all sorts of different configuration settings on the device. So here we have the device set up. Now this is the ISU menu. So once you hit select, you're going to see these numbers like 120, 125, 130. Now these all mean something and they are very important to set up when you first have this thing installed. Otherwise your thermostat may not work correctly depending on your heating and cooling type. So I'm gonna go over now one by one what these all mean. So I just wanted to show you where to find the ISU menu and what that exclamation point means. So let me go ahead now and show you off the list what each one of these numbers mean. And we... Okay, so let's start off with the alerts and reminders list. And number 54 is going to be the thermostat humidity sensor error. 164 is heat pump need service. 170 is internal memory error. 171 is set the date and time. 173 is thermostat temperature sensor error. 177 is indoor temperature sensor error. 178 is outdoor temperature sensor error. 181 is replace air filter one. 182 is replace air filter two. 184 is replace humidifier pad. 185 is replace dehumidifier filter. 187 is clean or replace ventilator filter. 188 is replace UV bulb one. 189 is replace UV bulb two. 252, AC power lost. 405, battery low. 407, battery critical. 546, Z-Wave not configured. 547, Z-Wave radio error. All right, so as you can see, there's quite a bit of alert and reminders on the T6. That's why I chose to make a video covering this because um, some people might know this and I'm going to go ahead possibly and paste this on the screen so you can see it better. Just to give you a better view, I may go ahead and actually put a picture on the screen instead. But let's go ahead and move on to the ISU options. There's quite a bit of these. There's like four pages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read off the ISU number and ISU name. And I will go ahead and paste this on the screen. That way you can get a better look at it and you can actually read it a lot more clearer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and list them off like I just said. And then that way, at least you'll get an idea of what they're supposed to be and um, make the adjustment. All right, so ISU number 120, that is schedule type, and it defaults to Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 5-2 schedule. 
125 is temp scale, which is Fahrenheit for default. 130 is outdoor temp, and default is no. 200 is system type. Conventional forced air is the default. So everything here in bold is going to be your default, just to let you know. Next one is 205, and that is equipment type. This is going to be your configuration of your heating and cooling type right here. Very important. Whether it's a conventional forced air heat, heat pump, or boiler. So 218 is going to be reversing valve. And the default is O slash B on cool. 220 is cool stages, and it's default to 1. 221 is heat stages, and it defaults to heat stages 1, auxiliary emergency stages 0. 221, we already covered that. Uh, 230 is fan control, and it is default to thermostat. 253 is auxiliary slash E control. 255 is auxiliary heat type. And it defaults to electric. 256 is emergency heat type. And it defaults to electric. 260 is fossil kit control. And it defaults to thermostat. 300 is auto changeover on off. 303 is auto differential. 305 is high cool stage, defaults to no. 306 is high heat stage, defaults to no. 340 is auxiliary heat droop, which defaults to zero, which is comfort. 350 is upstage timer auxiliary heat, defaults to off. 355 is balance points, compressor lockout, and that defaults to off. 356, auxiliary heat lockout, defaults to off. 365 is cool 1 CPH, cooling cycle heat stage 1. And that defaults to 3 CPH. 366 is cool 2 CPH. And that defaults to 3 CPH. 370 is heat 1 CPH. And CPH stands for cooling cycle rate stage. 371 is going to be heat 2 CPH. 375 is auxiliary heat CPH. These all have an option of 1 to 12 CPH. 375 is auxiliary heat CPH. 378 emergency heat CPH. 387 is compressor protection and it's off for default. 390 is extension fan runtime or exterior fan runtime in cool and it's off. 391 it is extension fan runtime in heat and it's default to off. All right, home stretch. We're almost there. So we have 425, that's adaptive recovery, and on is default. 430, minimum cool set point, which is 50 by default. 431, maximum heat set point, which is 90 degrees Fahrenheit for default. 435 is lock screen, and default is none. 
500 is indoor sensor and default is no. 515 is sensor type and it means 10K for default. 520 is temperature control and default is average. 702 is filters, default is zero. 711 is air filter one reminder, off is by default. 712 is air filter two reminder, off by default. 810, humidifier pad reminder, off is by default. 921, dehumidifier filter reminder, off by default. 1018, vent filter reminder, off by default. 1100, UV devices, zero by default. 1105, UV bulb reminder off by default. 1106 UV bulb 2 reminder off by default. 1401 is idle brightness and 0 is off. 1410 is clock format and 12 hour is default. 1415 is daylight savings on is by default. 1420 is temperature offset is zero by default, which is e equal to off. 1421 is Z-Wave temperature resolution, and it's one degree Fahrenheit by default. 1425 is humidity display offset, and it's zero equals off. 1426 is Z-Wave humidity resolution, and it's 1% by default. Okay, so there you have it, the full list of the installer setup options, the ISU, Advanced Menu. This is very important for you to set up at the beginning of your install because as you can see, there is a gazillion options here and you're going to want to have it set up correctly for so your thermostat operates correctly in your home. So... Don't forget to uh, check out my other videos. I go over the manual override, the full programming, the factory reset, um, and how to get into the advanced menus and things like that. So um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.